Think all honey is basically the same? This video will make you think again. Are you ready for the truth? A lot of you loved our videos exposing the truth about olive oil and eggs, and how two of the most healthy food buzzwords aren't always what they seem. Well, this one might sting a little. Because today, we're talking about something even more sacred. The food we trust above all others. Golden, natural, ancient. The sweet gift of the bees. Honey. For centuries, it's been a symbol of purity, healing, and life itself. But the truth is, much of what's sold as honey today never saw a flower. When I was a kid, I remember seeing bees hovering around wildflowers and thinking, that's where honey comes from. It felt magical, nature turning sunlight into sweetness. And maybe that's why honey holds such power in our minds. It feels honest, simple, untouched. But here's the uncomfortable part. That image of the friendly beekeeper with jars of golden nectar? It's been replaced by stainless steel tanks, industrial filters, and international shipping routes that stretch from China to the American breakfast table. Here's the number that blew my mind. More than 75% of the honey sold in U.S. grocery stores contains no traceable pollen. Why does that matter? Because pollen is how you identify where honey comes from like a fingerprint. If there's no pollen, there's no way to prove if it's real, where it was made, or even if it came from bees at all. So why is it missing? Because it's been ultra-filtered, heated, pressurized, and forced through microfilters so fine they remove every natural element, including the pollen, enzymes, and antioxidants. What's left is a sterile syrup, visually identical to real honey, but stripped of its soul. Let's talk about what happens when you process honey. Real honey is alive. It contains enzymes like glucose oxidase and compounds like hydrogen peroxide and flavonoids that give it antibacterial and antioxidant power. When you heat honey above about 104 degrees Fahrenheit, those enzymes die. When you ultra-filter it, you remove the pollen and beneficial compounds that link it to immune support and allergy relief. So the honey you drizzle in your tea might look perfect. Crystal clear, golden, smooth, but chemically, it's been sterilized into sugar water. Nature made it medicinal. Industry made it marketable. How did we get here? It started with demand. Americans consume over 500 million pounds of honey every year. But domestic bees can only produce a fraction of that. So we began importing honey from overseas particularly from China, Vietnam, and India. And that's where things turned murky. In the early 2000s, investigations uncovered what's now called honey laundering. Producers were blending cheap corn syrup or rice syrup with small amounts of real honey, then filtering it to remove pollen, making it impossible to trace its origin. The fake honey was then relabeled and shipped through third countries to dodge import tariffs and quality inspections. By the time it hit store shelves, even experts couldn't tell it wasn't real. And since the FDA has no binding legal definition for what counts as honey, most of it still sells as pure today. And it didn't stop there. The word honey became a marketing spell, just like olive oil. Made with real honey now appears on cereals, granola bars, cough drops, yogurt, salad dressing, even potato chips. But when you read the ingredient list, Honey is usually number 10 or 11, buried under sugar, corn syrup, and natural flavor. The result? We think we're eating something wholesome, when we're really eating the same refined sugars that drive inflammation, insulin resistance, and weight gain. Honey, the symbol of purity, became the disguise for everything artificial. And I get it. We want to believe in something natural, something pure. Honey is comforting. It's nostalgic. It's the one sweetener that feels safe. But maybe that's exactly why it's been so easy to exploit. Because when you trust something blindly, you stop looking closely. And that's how illusions thrive. Not through deception, but through comfort. Let's give credit where it's due. Real honey, raw, unfiltered, local honey is extraordinary. It's packed with trace minerals, antioxidants, and natural enzymes that help support the immune system. 
It has antibacterial properties that can help wounds heal. And raw honey contains small amounts of pollen, which may help your body adapt to seasonal allergies. But all of that vanishes once it's industrialized. High heat destroys enzymes. Filtering removes pollen. Blending dilutes everything good until it's nutritionally indistinguishable from corn syrup. So when people say, sugar is sugar, that's only true for processed honey. Raw honey is a different story. It's closer to a functional food than a sweetener. Here's how to tell the difference. Number one, look for the words raw and unfiltered. If it's crystal clear, it's been processed. Raw honey looks cloudy or slightly grainy. That's good. Number two, real honey should crystallize over time. If it never does, it's probably adulterated. Number three, check for a single source or floral origin label, like orange blossom, wildflower, or clover. That means it came from one region or plant family. Number four, avoid blends that say product of U.S. and other countries. That's often code for we mixed it with imports we can't verify. Number five, buy local when you can. Farmers markets, small apiaries, or regional co-ops. They usually sell the real thing. Here's the good news. Once you taste real honey, you'll never want to go back. It's thicker, darker, more aromatic. You can actually taste the flowers it came from. Citrus, sage, clover, lavender. It's the difference between eating sugar and tasting sunlight. And the coolest part? Real honey lasts forever. Archaeologists have found jars of honey in Egyptian tombs that are over 3,000 years old and still edible. Why? Because real honey, when unprocessed, never spoils. It was designed by nature to endure. That's the poetry of it. Even in a world obsessed with shortcuts, the purest things still last the longest. So no, honey isn't the villain. It's the victim of good branding and bad honesty. We turn something sacred into something synthetic and then forgot how to tell the difference. But we can relearn. We can reconnect to what's real one spoonful at a time. Because honey, when it's real, isn't just a sweetener. It's a story of bees, flowers, patience, and time. And that's something worth protecting. Next time, we're uncovering another food that's been hiding behind its own halo. One that claims to be heart healthy, but might secretly be doing the opposite. Here's a hint. It's white, it's smooth, and it's been called the healthy butter alternative. If this video opened your eyes, share it with someone who still believes all honey is created equal. Comment below, do you buy raw honey or were you surprised by how much of it isn't real? Your stories help others stay sharp and that's what we are all about, staying informed, staying empowered, and staying real.